Dashboard design and layout is one of the critical process or the component for laying out a story of data. And in our previous dashboard, we discussed about one of the key component of designing a dashboard that was foundation. It was the starting point of every dashboard to find a specific reason why we are creating this dashboard and what is the purpose of creating this dashboard. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the structure and the information design of a dashboard. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back. This is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas. And in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about structure and information design as a part of three components for designing a dashboard. So structure is also really important while designing a dashboard as it helps us to tell how to organize the information within a dashboard. Or in other words, how we can tell a story using different key components in the dashboard and structure in that way so the user can understand the flow of the story. We can't just place the information wherever we want or we can't just show the information all over the place using different layout and structures because it will overwhelm the user with so much information. We need to make sure that it is positioned in such a way that it shows the trend or shows the grouping or the flow of the story from the beginning till the end. Similar to as we watch a movie, right? So we see the trailer in the beginning, which gives you the flow of the information from the beginning to the end of the movie. In the same way, structure is really important where we want to display the key message from the beginning till the end without making sure without without showing or without losing the interest of the user. So important items which we are trying to show in the dashboard should always be larger and are more prominent to the user than in comparison to the less important items. So as you can see here in this example, I would say this is not organized in a correct way everything is um, showed in a similar format, similar size. There is no emphasis on one particular chart or one particular KPI, and there is no white spacing in between. And there is a lot of use, a lot of colors are used in this dashboard. So the structure is really important. And by looking at this dashboard, it's not clear what I'm looking at. So there are a couple of structure options which we need to keep in mind while designing the dashboard. Good dashboard structure basically requires deep understanding of how the system works or what, what is the business process which we are trying to show in our dashboard and which we are trying to provide a solution for. There are many ways to break something down into manageable parts. So in a dashboard, we need to make sure we we break it down into different components or different parts of the story and make sure the flow is in the same way we are trying to tell the story to the users. We can also show the relationship of different entities or measures in the dashboard. And that way we can structure the dashboard so that we make sure that the hierarchy or the relationship is defined in the dashboard. And same with the grouping. The structure of the last resource is to group the related information together into a categories or hierarchies. So we make sure all the related information are placed in one place, one section of the dashboard. Or while we are telling the story, related information are flown from one section to another section. Then moving on to the next one is the designing principle. As we get closer to putting pencil on paper to design your dashboard while drafting a sketch, we should keep in mind the below key principle or to make sure what is important. So the first one is gradual reveal. Revealing information as the user expresses interest is really important. In other words, we should not bombard the users with all the information at once. We should reveal it 
slowly and gradually from the key metrics telling the story the context of that metrics and then showing the full detail at the end as you can see in this dashboard at the top here we are showing the key kpis the key metrics and then we are showing the context of these key metrics what is the influence how we are indexing the internet population so it's giving the context to that number and then if somebody wants to dig deeper then they can see the details of these numbers like the top 10 market educational level adult age of female so all that details are shown at the end so we are gradually revealing the information one by one telling the story the next one is the guided attention if it is not good enough to make the information available we need to make sure that we use visual cues or kind of navigate the user to show them the functionality of the things that matters the most so we can we can provide them the natural with the natural language processing giving the information and navigating it through the different key kpis to the context and to the details so we can do that by using the right colors right fonts right information icons and guide the user in the right direction and also we should make it more customizable so that different users in the business can use the same dashboard we can make that flexibility by showing the kpis and giving the option to drill down for a different level for different users so if a ceo want to see the higher level information they can see the key kpis in the dashboard but for example if an operational team or someone in a product team want to see the granular level of the transactional details of their product sales they can navigate to the different section of the dashboard by drilling down a particular section and in order for them to understand we can guide them with the text information or visual cues so they can select a particular section or the filter and go to next section and also advanced visualization is really important and we need to know which chart to use at what place like scatter plot are really used when we are trying to show the relationship among multiple points or if we want to show the rise and fall over the time we can use line chart or uh, stack chart and if we want to analyze the text we can use word cloud or word tree chart and same way if we want to compare the set of values we can use bar chart or bubble chart so there are a lot of different type of charts which we need to make sure we are using the right one at the right time so that was the structure um, that was the detail about the structure of the dashboard and the next one is the information design and that's really important as well so information presentation is an art like if we talk about painting on a canvas so it's an art similarly designing the information on a dashboard which is kind of a black canvas it's an art as well so how do you capture attention without distracting your audience so it is by organizing the page the stuff the information on the canvas which is your dashboard you should know where should you place the most important context and how should you lay out chart and text to enable visual stories and how can white space help your audience absorb information all these things matter a lot and the color is the key factor as well if you use a lot of different colors then it will be distracting for the audience to make sure like okay what is the key important kpi which i need to look at or should i just look at all these colors different colors so it's quite distracting for the business user or any user to look at the dashboard and each color have different meaning whenever you pick up a appropriate color palette or scheme you should understand what does that mean if we increase color brightness it will attract attention and makes makes a point that is really important in the dashboard similarly if you use the same color hue then you are kind of showing that these are the things which are related to each other so as you can see here there are a lot of different colors like warm colors cool colors 
increasing color intensity or unnatural color. So you can see the bright colors here are basically used to draw attention to a particular section. And the warm colors are kind of more optimistic and active color which have the psychology to remain in your uh, you remember these colors for a while even after you are not looking at them anymore so if you are trying to show a particular kpi in this particular shade so after you turn off the dashboard or the computer you will still remember those color because the psychology of that warm colors is that it remains in your brain for a longer time as compared to other color set so different colors have different meaning which we should make sure we use the right color for the right kpis then the next one is the typography. So why does it matter? What fonts we are using and what consistency we are using in those fonts. So we need to make sure they are clean, easy to understand and are consistent across all the web interfaces. So when you are trying to open the dashboard on a desktop and then you try to open it on a mobile phone, the text web context is the same. The text doesn't change. Then the next one is paying attention to detail. So when we are trying to position the most important information in the dashboard, think of this as a canvas. So the most important information, we normally put it on the first quadrant. That's what the studies have showed that the human brain works. It scans the page from the left top corner of the page. And then as you move onto the right hand side, it makes the eye formation as in the form of Z or Z. We go from left to right and then scan diagonally to the bottom on the left hand side. And then at the last, we look at the right bottom. So that's how we need to make sure the most important key KPIs, we put it on the first quadrant of the dashboard. And white spaces are also really important to make sure that we are not overloading the dashboard with so much information. We need to make sure there is white spaces, the panels have a gap in between so our brain can process without making it feel overwhelming. So that way it will be easy for us to understand and grasp whatever information is important and our brain can understand it in an easy way. So these were the three main things which we have to keep in mind for designing a dashboard that is foundation, structure and information design. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and it helped you in your designing process. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a message in the comments below. and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next session.